There's so much talk now about gas prices. Who's at fault? Is it President Obama for not drilling enough? Is it OPEC for price fixing? Could it be the greedy oil companies? There are many reasons being floated as to why gas prices are so high, but there is one that you aren't going to hear from any other media around town. Ben has the reality check. It is true that there are a number of reasons gas prices could be so high, but if you really want the truth, the answer is pretty simple, but it's very hard to fix. And it's right here. Gas is so expensive because this dollar is not worth what it used to be. The fiat dollar means that the price of oil is going up, and there is no real way to bring it down without dealing with the value of what you have in your wallet. Let's start with what a fiat dollar is. The word fiat is from the Latin, meaning let it be done, simply meaning that the value of a dollar is not based on anything. The Federal Reserve prints money without a standard of gold or silver. The dollar, therefore, it gets its value from nothing other than government decree. So when you print money, and then more money, and then more money, the value of each and every dollar drops. So why does that mean gas prices are so high? Well, they're high because the price of oil is so high, right? Well, actually, it's not. In fact, the price of oil, according to a recent article in Forbes magazine, is unusually low. How can that be? Not only that, but the article's authors also say that gas prices would have to rise by another 65 to 75 cents just to be normal. This makes sense? Now listen, I'm pretty good at explaining things, but you're going to have to stay with me to understand this. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, March 2nd, 2012, and I'm Darko. Um, this video up here, I guess it's not going through. It's not showing up in countries, certain countries. Um, some people are able to see it, but there's only five views. It's been posted up there for about a half hour now, so I know there's hardly anybody even being able to view this thing. Um, it's the last video, GGN, New World Order puppet, Obama in birther crosshairs, uh, basically calling out the piece of crap uh, basically New World Order backed uh, puppet. He's a piece of shit is what he is. And I guess if you talk about him, well, you know, hey, this is what they do. Uh, they don't they don't show your video. Kind of like when I called out Monsanto in that one video and all the other videos talking about robotics and then uh, that's basically what gave me the two strikes. So this video may actually uh, 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 be the final nail in the coffin for DDARCO 2012. Uh, they may come in the next day and pull it and then close this account. So if you see that, just be aware of it. Um, so, yeah, that's just the way it is. I'm going to try to uh, figure out what exactly Scripps local news is. Scripps local news is like, what the hell is that, dude? You know? Uh, but apparently it doesn't uh, fall under fair use. It's news. I checked the website. It's actually news. And um, so you can't carry it under fair use, I guess. So either way, I'm going to try to re-upload that. I'm going to try to figure out what the hell scripts is, he, what, what audio visual content was in that video that I need, that needs to be removed. You know what I mean? So I don't even know what it actually was in that video. So I'm going to have to go through that and it may actually take another day or two to do that. But uh, either way, I'm going to continue on with uh, my last and third final video as planned. Next leg of Ponzi revealed foreign central banks to begin buying U.S. stocks outright starting today. The Bank of Israel will begin today a pilot program to invest a portion of its foreign currency reserves in U.S. equities. At a later stage, the investment is, is expected to increase to 10% of the reserves and about 9% of the foreign exchange reserves of Switzerland's central bank were invested in shares at the end of the third quarter, the Swiss bank said on its website, quote, we have almost no exposure to countries with big problems. We constantly examine where we invest uh, the foreign currency reserves, and I can promise you that you can relax, and quote, governor of the Bank of Israel, Professor Stanley Fisher said at a closed conference in mid-January. Next up, inflation, not as low as you think. You saw that video where uh, Ron Paul is saying, well, I think the inflation rate is nine, you think it's two, so let's say five, right? And actually got some uh, some laughs because that's how much of a joke it is. Is people, you know, have to decide whether they could buy food, electricity, whatever, and they're being squeezed, right? But Mr. Uh, uh, Bernanke, another uh, douchebag puppet for these bankers, these international globalist elites, 
uh, does what? He'll tell you, oh, I drive a Ford Focus every day, and I have a 30-year mortgage. Such bullshit. But anyways, says here, forget the modest 3.1% rise in the consumer price index that doesn't account for energy, i.e. oil, gas prices, and food, the government's widely used measure of inflation. Everyday prices are up some 8% over the past year, according to the American Institute for Economic Research. Next up, half a million savers' retirement plans shattered as payouts from uh, crippled with profits, pensions, plunged. Hundreds of thousands of savers had the retirement hopes dashed by the banking crisis, or you know what it was, and a crash in payouts on with profit pensions. Those reaching the pension age now are getting uh, 4,000 pounds less, sorry, less a year than an identical saver who retired five years ago. Then we have millions of senior citizens can't afford basic living expenses, says a study. More than 9 million older Americans can't pay their bills as the cost of living. Basic expenses like food, housing, health care, and transportation are too much for millions of people aged 65 and older to bear. According to a study released Thursday, examining the gaps between income and expenses for many older Americans. Bank of America considers checking account fee revamp. So someone was just joking about that to me the other day. And lo and behold, look at that. They come back with their checking account fee revamp. As I've said before, they should, uh, they should be paying you, right? Because they don't have any money. They just have fiat digital currency not backed by anything. And it's everybody uh, withdrew their money from their bank, as I told my bank. Uh, what? They wouldn't be able to handle it. They're insolvent. And what happens? Oh, I got shut out of my bank. That's right. My bank account was closed after I talked to the regional director about that. That's It's a big game. It's a big scam. Like George Carlin said, it's a big effing um, private group, right? It's a big club, and we're not in it. So limited gas pains, why the U.S. is better able to handle higher gas prices. So here in the U.S., we're able to handle it, right? We just eat less or we're more cold or whatever, whatnot, right? We can't uh, take the money you had for your children, for um, college or what, whatever. You can't do that. So we just uh, we put it all towards the oil companies, British Petroleum and Royal Dutch Shell. And they actually go in there and give you reasons about uh, how it's going to be painful and it's going to hurt, uh, but it won't tear, torpedo the economy, right? It's all about the economy, which is helping you so much at this particular moment, right? Gasoline prices rise for the 24th day. Next up, I have on gas, diesel costs uh, 40 pence more a liter uh, in the country, i.e., I believe it would be about, what, 40 cents or something like that uh, in rural areas uh, less. So Su Sudanese troops massing near border, South Sudan says, and this is over what? Oil says Sudanese troops were massing near the disputed border, and the Sudan's armed forces had bombed two oil wells in South Sudan. More blood for oil in Somalia. That's where Britain, the UK, is going, along with the Falklands. Scores killed in U.S. drone attack in Somalia. Assassination drone has killed scores of people in an attack on the outskirts of Mogadishu. Press TV reports also on Tuesday night the unmanned American spy plane attacked a number of uh, targets in the southern city. And just a quick side note, in another incident, a U.S. spy drone crashed near Halane military base in southern Mogadishu. Then we have Insight, Conflict Looms in South China Sea Oil Rush, and it goes on there and it basically says that uh, two Chinese vessels were threatening to ram a survey ship. The Philippine commander's message was clear, don't move, we will come to the rescue. By then, the Chinese boats had left after chasing away the survey ship, Varitas Voyager, hired by, oh, the UK again, hey, it's our buddy, the UK-based Forum Energy Pick. It's kind of like in Somalia where they actually call the uh, the company like African Oil or, or something like that, and it's owned by a Canadian company. Chinese government buying up our farms, says Senator Hefferman. The Chinese government is buying Australian farms to directly feed its population, a senior liberal said on the eve of a visit of a top Beijing official. Said the purchases were unmonitored and did not have to be approved by the Foreign Investment Review Board. Mr. Zhu has argued that there is a move by the Chinese government to buy land overseas to ensure a secure food supply for the future. He believes the produce would be sent back to China from farms now being purchased. Says Chinese investment uh, interests and farms grew tenfold in six months to April, according to Real Estate Institute of Australia. Next up, aid and activities, aid activities in China, uh, basically going on saying uh, how they're giving Australians are and their uh, representatives are giving all of their money or a lot of their tax money towards the Chinese, right? So they come and they can buy their farmlands and that uh, Chinese consumers embrace pricey SUVs.
Then from February 17, 2012, Congress uh, is set to hand over highways and freeways uh, over to foreign corporations, new toll roads planned for all 50 states to, in an effort to parcel off and sell out the entire sectors of America's infrastructure to for foreign interests, and it's continuing daily. HR Sorry, H.R. 7, the bill at issue here, would put tolls on roads American taxpayers funded and paid for and which they continue to fund through gasoline taxes diverted to the Transportation Highway Trust account at the IMF. H.R. 7 will effectively end our right to travel freely, as if we're able to do that now, by making the cost of travel so expensive that we won't travel. Then we have retailers join Payment Chase, uh, two words, digital wallet. Walmart and Target join project aiming to make plastic obsolete. That's right. I said they're among two dozen retailers working together to develop a mobile payment system to compete with similar products from Google and big cell phone companies, according to people with direct knowledge of the product, turn cell phones into payment devices. And it's, of course, what all these groups are eager to satisfy the growing demand of the consumer, particularly younger ones who want payments to be less cumbersome, i.e. they could swipe their wrists to make payments. That's why they attack the youth, man. They don't have a freaking clue. They just pretty much just wipe all the older people off to the side and get them in those re-education camps before they could actually realize how much they're going to get effed up the ass when they start paying uh, their mortgages and taxes and all that, try to uh, start up a business. Would you buy Google's glasses? They would look similar to normal glasses, would have location information that appeared on the lenses. The glasses will probably have three or four inch screens that will display information pulled from various Google services about the wearer's surroundings. The glasses are also able to record video, which should appeal to spy thriller or Terminator fans, right? Big joke. Now it's about, uh, you know, ratting out your comrades, and it's about voyeurism is what it's about. Moving on here, we have Pentagon's Project Avatar, same as the movie, but with robots instead of aliens. And I included that article, that older one, because of this one, February 29th, 2012, Russian Mogul's plan, plant our brains in robots and keep them alive forever. Well, it's not just his plan. There's a lot of scientists and people that are on board for this. It says the U.S. military's Avatar initiative doesn't go nearly far enough. He wants to construct robots that'll, within 10 years, he hopes, actually store a human mind and keep that consciousness working forever. Science fiction or fact, could a robo-apocalypse wipe out humans? And a professor at University of Massachusetts said, the technology already exists to build a system that will destroy the whole world intentionally or unintentionally if it just detects the right conditions. The scientists take over C.S. Lewis denounced transhumanism in 1945, quote, dreams of the future, far future destiny of a man were dragging up from its shallow and unquiet grave the old dream of man as God. He was quoted in that hideous strength, 1945, quote, no more gods, no more faith, no more timid holding back. Let us blast out of our old forms, our ignorance, our weakness, our mortality. The future belongs to post-humanity. Max Moore on becoming post-human, 1994. That's why the Russian would say, what? This project is leading down the road to immortality. Remember this, uh, Werner von Braun, or Warner von Braun, Dr. Karl Rosen, False Flag Wars and Exopolitics. So after communism and capitalism was, quote, defeated in 1941, both which are like Hitler, I think, even said they're both sides, two different sides of the same coin, both created by the same douchebags that I was talking about earlier. These false flag uh, wars start with a war on terror followed by a false flag war against asteroids and near-Earth objects, and finally a false flag war against extraterrestrial civilizations. Each of these wars, starting with the false flag operation on September 11, 2001, has had a weaponization of space and occupation of the solar systems as a significant objective. February 27, 2012, asteroid to pass Earth. In February 2013, asteroid with a diameter of 40 to 90 meters is to pass the Earth. In the next next February, NASA reports. For the moment, the scientists rule out, rule out the risk that the asteroid may hit Earth. Next up, asteroid scare for the year 2040. Scientists say that there's a very minor chance that it would hit Earth, and it says in September 2013, they will have the opportunity to make additional observations of the 2011 AG5 when it comes within 91 million miles of Earth. And it finishes, finishes up saying there's no need for further research, and even if it were to hit, it remains to be seen what steps will be taken by NASA. Don't forget Project Bluebeam and um, the religious deity type uh, false flag. Here you have Jesus Discovery, Web of Buzz, Jerusalem Tombs Beneath Complex can be traced to Jesus of Nazareth, in which the New World Religion will come. Anti-Sec dumps Monsanto data on the web. They were quoted as saying, your continued attack on the world's food supply has earned you our full attention. 
We know about the virus causing stillbirths and deformities, and now it's hit horses, but it's climate change. No. Like a senior scientist warned, GM soybean and corn are responsible for the high rates of infer infertility and spontaneous abortions. This is GGN. Thank you.